in this tutorial we are going to uh, see the example how to search an element in a linked list so the problem statement is given a linked list write a code to search a given element in a single linked list the function should return true if the element is present in a linked list else it returns false so i have already explained uh, what is linked list how it's uh, different from array and how we can insert a node at the head at the head or at the end of a linked list so in my previous tutorial i have explained all the linked list concepts and the link of all these video tutorials are present in the description box so let's uh, first revisit the linked list terminologies and then i'll explain uh, this uh, uh, this question so uh, what is linked list linked list is a collection of nodes and what is node so a node has two part a data and a pointer to the next node so let's understand through example so so suppose i have to uh, create a linked list and i have four elements so i need to create four nodes and each node has two part the first part is the data part and the second part is the uh, second part contains the address of the next node so it contains this part contains the address of the next node and the first part contains the data so let's first create a linked list of four nodes so i am creating let's say this is my second node this is my third node and this is my fourth node and after that there is no node is present so it points to null and these are the values of a linked list so the first is 15 the second is 9 the third is 8 and the fourth one is 5 now suppose each node has some address i mean each node is present in some memory location so if it present in some memory location it means uh, some addresses assigned to each node so suppose the address of first node is 100 the address of second node is 500 the address of third node is let's say 50 the address of fourth node is let's say um, 1000 so uh, the first node points to this address it means it points to 500 the second node points to this address it means it points to 50 the third node points to uh, this node address it means it points to thousand and after uh, this node there is no node left so it doesn't point to any node and the first node is point uh, the the head node points to the address head pointer points to the address of first node so uh, this is how the linked list uh, is uh, stored in a memory this is uh, the structure of a linked list and this is the structure of a node so uh, now we know uh, the linked list is a collection of node and each node has two part data and address of the next node now let's come to the problem so suppose if we have to search an element in a linked list so in this case if i have to search an element 8 so what i need to do so i need to start from the head and i need to visit at each node and check if the value is equal to it if it's uh, equal to it uh, then just uh, break the loop and uh, print either the uh, i mean print the value is found or just print uh, at which index i mean at which uh, suppose if you have to print the count i mean at which point you have to uh, you have found it so now how i can do it so i'll start traversing a linked list from head and i'll visit first node and i'll check the data part whether the data part is equal to 8 if it is uh, equal then uh, we uh, we don't need to uh, go further i otherwise we need uh, we will visit uh, next node then next node w once we found uh, the element then after that uh, we don't uh, traverse the linked list further and suppose now uh, if i am searching 
let's say three three is not present in a linked list then i'll traverse until the last node and if the value is not found then i'll return false now let's see uh, the java code so so this is uh, the iterative uh, way to uh, find the element in a linked list so i am taking uh, the value uh, so in this method i am accepting the value and i have uh, the head pointer which i have assigned in a uh, temp variable which is of node type and a node has two attribute if you see the structure of node class it has two uh, attribute data and a pointer to the next node uh, pointer to the next node so this pointer points to the address of the next node and i have declared one another variable which is of boolean type and initialize it to false and now i am traversing this array if tamp is not equal to null so let's uh, i'll explain through example and so this is so let's say this is this is my link list let me draw it first so that you get a clear understanding of how this code is working this is 9 this is 8 and this is 5 and after that it doesn't point to any other node so it points to null and the first node is pointed by head pointer so i have assigned this reference to a temp variable of node type so now the temp points to the first node and what i am saying is run a loop until temp is not equal to null so uh, so the uh, temp points to the address of first node so it is not null so it goes uh, inside this loop and now i am checking so i am comparing the data part with the values so temp dot data equal to equal to uh, value which we want to search so the first uh, value which is present in this node is 15 so uh, this condition is not satisfied now we have moved to next node so we have moved this next node still this uh, condition is uh, true tamp is not equal to null it points to the address of this node and now i am comparing 9 is equal to uh, equal to <coughs> the element which we want to search let's say suppose i am searching 8 so it's not uh, it's not equal to so again uh, it won't go in this loop and now we have moved to next node and this time tam dot data so 8 is equal to equal to 8 so what i have done is i have assigned true in this variable and i have break the loop so that uh, i have found the value so i don't need to visit uh, to next node so i have break the loop and i have returned uh, return it uh, return uh, true so if suppose if instead of 8 if i have to try uh, if i have to found 2 then in this case i'll visit next node and it is also not equal to 2 then after that i can't visit uh, further so i'll return false that uh, so the 2 is not found in this uh, linked list so this is the iterative approach now let's see the recursive one so here is the recursive method in which we are checking head is equal to equal to null if it's null then return false else if we found the data then return true otherwise we are calling the same method which uh, and in this argument we visit to next node and passing the value so this is the recursive approach and this is the iterative way let's see the main method 
so in my main method i have created the instance of this class and i have inserted uh, the following uh, nodes and how insertion uh, is done in a linked list i have already explained in my previous video tutorials and after that i have printed the linked list and then i have called both iterative and recursive approach if i run this code see both the values 9 and 5 is present in a linked list if suppose instead of 9 if i have if i am searching 19 then see what happens the iterative method returns false while recursive uh, returns true and so here's the search class in which I have uh, one attribute had which is of node type and then in this constructor I have initialized head to null and this is the insert method in which I have inserted a new node at the head uh, of a linked list and this is the iterative search which I have explained and same this is recursive search and this is the print in which I have uh, traverse uh, I'm traversing the linked list and printing uh, the data part and this is the main method so uh, that's it for this video if you have any doubt uh, related to linked list you can ask me uh, through the comment section and I'll uh, mention the code link in the description box I have also mention all the previous uh, linked list uh, video tutorials in the description box so thanks for watching this video thanks for your time